Players experiencing Metroid for the first time in 1986 were intentionally misled into identifying the power suit clad protagonist as a male. Upon completion of the game, we learned that, spoiler alert, Samus Aran is a woman. Since then, Samus has gone on to fight evil aliens in many great Metroid games and other M. Just kidding. In 1999, Samus made her Smash debut as a member of the original roster in Smash 64. Her iconic moveset revolved around the power suit, using familiar abilities such as the charge beam and morph ball bombs. It wasn't until 2004, however, that we got a deeper idea of what Samus was like underneath the power suit. In Metroid Zero Mission, our hero finds herself shot down on planet Zebus without her trusty exoskeleton. It's here that we get our first look at the Zero Suit, a skin-tight jumpsuit that Samus always wears underneath her power suit. Although she loses many benefits of the power suit, the Zero Suit allows Samus to move swiftly and perform acrobatics, and she can still use her paralyzer. Super Smash Bros. Brawl introduced Zero Suit Samus through an interesting twist on the Samus fighter. After performing her final smash, Samus would release her power suit and become Zero Suit Samus, leaving pieces of the power suit as throwable items on the ground. The Zero Suit transformation could also be performed by inputting up and down taunt rapidly, but neither of these methods were practical in a competitive format. Fortunately, Zero Suit could be selected directly by holding a shield button while choosing Samus. In doing so, Zero Suit would spawn along with the power suit item pieces when a match started. In the competitive Brawl meta, Zero Suit Samus was initially considered a mid-tier character. Her item projectiles were pesky to deal with in the early game, but once they were gone, she lacked the explosive neutral of a character like Meta Knight and the devastating punish game of characters like Ice Climbers. However, Zero Suit would climb up to high tier as her meta was optimized, most notably with Salem defeating Mewtwo King to win Apex 2013 with the character. That set went down as one of the most famous in Brawl's history, and drew a lot of attention to Zero Suit Samus in general. Smash 4 came along in 2014 and untethered characters like Sheik and Zelda. This resulted in Zero Suit Samus also having her own character slot, and that wasn't her only change. Her moveset was tweaked in a few ways, perhaps most infamously changing her up special to the Boost Kick. Competitively, Zero Suit was very strong in the metagame for the entirety of Smash 4. Her neutral air, down throw, and up air offered a wealth of combo starters, including a Mario-esque ladder combo that led to extremely early kills from Rage Boost Kick. And that brings us to Smash Ultimate. Zero Suit Samus retains her core moveset from Smash 4, but with some new changes that adjust her gameplay and place in the metagame. And her place in the metagame is exactly what we're going to talk about in this video. So for our question of the day, do you think ZSS is top or high tier? Let us know in the comments below and stay tuned to see if your opinion changes by the end of the video. If you'd like to learn how to play Zero Suit Samus or any other character for yourself, you can find many useful resources on our website, froguides.com. In addition to character guides, you'll find updated course programs to learn beginner to advanced game concepts, as well as live classes that give you a chance to play with the pros. You can also take advantage of our InstaPro platform to connect with great coaches who can help you take the next step in your game. So Zero Suit Samus is a pretty polarizing character when it comes to her tierless position in Smash Ultimate. She's pretty much universally agreed to be higher than mid-tier, but beyond that, the opinions start to vary dramatically. Some consider Zero Suit to be as good as top 5 in the game, whereas others put her in high tier, not even close to the best of the best. Let's take a look at what makes this character strong enough to win Genesis 7 over the best player in the world, and what about her can still lead players to put her in high tier. One of Zero Suit's strongest attributes in Smash Ultimate is her movement. On the ground, she has the 6th fastest run speed, and the absolute fastest initial dash, even faster than Sonic's. This makes her dash chance one of the best, if not straight up the best in the game. Inklings is kind of broken though. Zero Suit's ability to traverse the ground so freely makes her one of the trickiest characters to catch in neutral, but her aerial movement is crazy too. She has the 8th fastest airspeed and solid aerial acceleration as well. Many characters only have good numbers for one of these values, but Zero Suit has great attributes for both, in addition to being a fast faller, so she's basically fast in every way possible. This includes her jumping abilities for which she has the 3rd highest full hop and the 6th highest double jump. Putting all of this data together, you have a character who can go anywhere very quickly, and this offers so many benefits in competitive Smash. She can whiff punish on reaction instantly regardless of whether the opponent is on the ground or in the air, she can camp and stall matches on a whim by running away and jumping, creating a game of tag where she beats just about any other character, and she can go deep offstage for edge guards and come right back. We've probably spent enough time talking about Zero Suit's movement, but there's one more character-specific option that takes her mobility to an even higher level, Flip Jump. 
Zero Suit's down special is Flip Jump, a move which initiates an arcing jump in either direction. Flip Jump is intangible from frame 3 to 12, and it can be acted out of with a powerful kick attack. This is basically a get out of jail free card. With frame 3 intangibility, ZSS will often opt to use Flip Jump in place of an air dodge or other defensive option, as it pairs that intangibility with an amazing movement option. This move can also be used to recover or just any time the Zero Suit player wants an invulnerable jump halfway across the stage. Okay, so Zero Suit can move, but is that all? Not quite. Like in Smash 4, her kit is full of ridiculously safe combo starters. Zero Suit's Nair is perhaps the epitome of this description. It's incredibly safe at minus 2 on shield, which basically means no out of shield option is fast enough to punish a well spaced Nair. If the ZSS player anticipates an attempted punish by the player shielding the Nair, they can easily stuff it out with her frame 1 jab. Although Zero Suit won't be using jab extremely often, frame 1 is the fastest a move can possibly come out, so it's an excellent tool for shutting out opponents in close quarters. Nair isn't just safe though, it's arguably her best combo starter. A landing Nair will combo into an up smash at low percents for some strong opening damage. At mid percents, it can combo into a variety of aerials, or if she connects it near the ledge, it can kill confirm into the spike hitbox of flip kick. This combo is something to always be on the lookout for, as it allows Zero Suit to take your stock in an instant before you even hit typical kill percentages. When you are around those higher percents, Nair can also kill confirm into back air. Neutral Air is just one of Zero Suit's safe combo starters. Her forward air can be used rising as an anti-air option that starts strings, and landing with the first hit will lead to follow-ups very similar to those from Nair, only at higher percents. She also has a Zare, which covers a large range in front of her, and leads to similar combos when connected low to the ground. Zero Suit doesn't need one of these confirms to close out stocks either. Her up B is a blazing fast out of shield option at frame 4, making it an excellent KO tool at high percents. Up B can also be comboed out of Zero Suit's Down Smash or Neutral B, both of which have a paralyzing effect that stuns the opponent in place. In addition to the powerful kick that can be manually activated out of Flip Jump, landing on top of a grounded character with this move will bury them, creating opportunities for a boost kick. Her back air is safe as well, and another strong kill move that she can space in Neutral. So we've established Zero Suit's strengths as a character with unparalleled mobility, safe combo starters, and good kill options but this isn't enough to seal her spot in a tier. We also have to look at the negatives. Even in Smash 4, the slow startup and high end lag on Zero Suit's tether grab made it a high commitment option, but in that game it was well worth the reward of the combo she got from down throw. In Ultimate, however, all of Zero Suit's throw combos were removed completely, yet her grab remains a huge risk. This both strengthens shielding as an option for her opponents and weakens her own out of shield game as she has very little besides up B, which is a big risk itself. ZSS also doesn't have the greatest ground moves. Despite her mobility being so strong, forward tilt and down smash are the only attacks that she can safely throw out on the ground in most cases, leading her to be more predictably going for aerials. Looking at results, most of Zero Suit's biggest wins all rest on the shoulders of Mars, who also made the character in Smash 4. Currently ranked 5th on the PGR, Mars has secured a slew of amazing wins with Zero Suit Samus. Most notably, Mars is one of the only players to have defeated world number one MK Leo twice during the era of his Joker, taking grand finals in both Smash Factor 8 and Genesis 7 over him. Despite this, Mars's results at Super Majors have been slightly inconsistent, placing below top 8 at Frostbite 2020, Evo 2019, and The Big House 9. Looking broader, other Zero Suit players maintain great results in their regions, Kuro, the best ZSS in Japan, has taken sets off of monster players such as Zachary and T. All in all, Zero Suit Samus is a character with many excellent strengths and few weaknesses. Her matchup spread is mostly favorable among the top tiers, and her results prove that she's capable of the absolute biggest wins. This leads us to objectively say that Zero Suit belongs in top tier, but it's still up for debate, as Ultimate is a game where many characters can be brought to great heights in the right hands. I've been your host, G5 Cosmos of Game 5 Smash. Thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe to Pro Guides and turn on notifications so you can catch every upload.